So let's explore the digital tools in the high school curriculum. If you notice on the landing page, as well as other um, locations within lessons, you'll see this math tools button. And that, that's the suite of, of applications which are provided for students to use. So digital tools are included when they're required by the standard being addressed and when they make better learning possible. In the middle school materials, many activities included a pre-made applet that students access right there within the lesson materials. So let's take a look at some design principles for how the digital tools are used in high school. We're gonna go to the teacher guide, which is off of the high school um, curriculum landing page and drill down to design principles, and then we'll scroll to where we see use of digital tools. And that's gonna give us the background information. In most cases, instead of being given a pre-made applet to explore, students have that link of tools that they can go to. Lessons are written with three anticipated levels of digital interaction. Some activities require the digital tools, some suggest digital tools, some allow digital tools, and in some cases, activities will prohibit digital tools. Uh, students and teachers are taught how to use the tools, but not always told when to use them, and that's because student choice and problem solving is, is valued. Keep in mind the intent when these materials were written was so that teachers can use whatever technology is available or preferred. So let's look at some examples. This comes from the Algebra 1 Unit 5 narrative in the course guide. And uh, I've chosen it because it's going to say, um, let me find it. It gives some information about digital tools here and the expectation to have um, either a handheld graphing calculator if your school have those has those, or just computers with internet access and use the the applets that are provided through Desmos or GeoGebra, and then some lessons will have some inner applets and in, embedded. And then there's a graphing calculator tool that's that's in the digital version math tools as well. So teachers have options. Um, here's an example next. This comes from um, Algebra 2 Unit 4, where this is a lesson where it's suggested it's not recommended for students to have technology because we're building some concepts in this lesson. Let's look at another one. Geometry, unit one, lesson one. Uh, we give them a tool to do some constructions. Here's another one. Here's where, again, they're they're learning to use a tool. I believe this next one is spreadsheets in Algebra 1, use it Unit 1. And so uh, we have the built-in spreadsheet as well as the spreadsheet that's in the tools. But, you know, if you prefer um, another way of another application, that, that is the teacher's choice. So from this main page, as well as any student lesson activity, um, this is the suite of digital tools that is available. And all of the examples that we've shared here uh, give insight into factors that influence the illustrative mathematics writers' decisions for digital tools in the curriculum. Thanks for taking time to check out these math tools and the IM High School curriculum.